back. Um, I'm going to try some forge welding with the different fluxes and we'll see how it goes. I was at the uh, scrap yard and they had a whole bunch of these. They're all welded at one end but they're free at the other. It's just a big bundle of half inch square stock. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and uh, scarf ends of them and do probably four sets of scarfs um, and then I'm going to try to weld the first time with no flux and then the next time with you know the different fluxes and see if anyone works better they may all work I have no idea but we'll see how that works out and we're going to try these different formulas and um, let's get started okay so <clears throat> this is what I'm going to do I practiced with one and uh, I was using typical scarfs. Uh, this one here is way out of bent, but I really don't care that I'm crooked. This is a practice one. <coughs> I don't want to see how it welds. Did a traditional scarf on them, and um, I was just having problems with it. I could not get it to go. So uh, every time I put the scarf two together, one would flip out from the other. So I'm just doing this angle. And it works fine, as long as you overlap your angles. And then this is going to be the 50-50. Let me uh, clean that off. and I'll probably flux this a couple times and then get it up to heat. The other one. I like using a can more than a squirt bottle because I can do it over top and any excess falls into the can. It's not so wasteful. Get all over the floor. And pause and get this up to heat. Okay, I've got it to about welding heat twice and flexed it two times. <laughs> what I'm doing is a drop tong forge method. Let's see if this works. This is with the 50-50. It's sticking in the... Alright, so let's overlap them. I'm just going to hit it three times. One. Stuck. <coughs> now what I would do now is I was going to continue welding is I would uh, flux all around all that again and you can see what you do with these angle ones in case you never tried this method I, I put these tongs handles I put those tong handles on up here and you can't even see where I forged them on but you overlap it so you got a little bit more meat in the middle so when you bring it down you back down to whatever size you want uh, but anyway that's the 50-50 Three hits, they stuck. I don't know how well. A cool little. Seems to have stuck. So let me scarf another one and then we'll try the next one on my list, which is Iron Mountain. <coughs> That's like the premier everybody likes to use. And uh, I may use it. I've, I've got to go to a class, I got to do forge welding. I may take all three of these and go to it, but I, I'm trying these all out right now so I can. I can see which ones I want to use. Got the Iron Mountain. This is a recipe I found online. I bought all the stuff, but I need to share this with friends because um, I think just to buy all enough, to buy big quantities of it, I got enough probably to fill about eight of these tins. Cost about eighty dollars, but of course we do a pound a piece. I think it'll make eight pounds. It only comes out ten dollars a pound, which is a lot cheaper than some of the others. Same with this one I just did, the 50-50. This is boric acid and iron, iron oxide. Like I said, I'll put these in the link below. Uh, I'll put the recipes and I'll put a link to all the places where you can get it if you want to try one. Um, go in with some friends. If you do a lot of forge welding, just mix it up. And you can order smaller quantities. I just found it, you know, you can buy one pound. I think you buy five pounds for just a, you know five dollars more or something crazy, so I just went ahead and bought, bought bigger quantities. But uh, anyway, let's go on and do another one. 
just in case anybody's curious about this. Got a little weld on there from where this scrap was to do that. That um, just a tapered scarf. I just take it down, keep it flat. Just hold it flat on there, take it out. Just don't want to get wider. Keep the width. You want it as flat as you can get it up through here and down fairly thin, close to the edge. But that's about, that's about it right there. Just try to get it like that, about like that taper. That's all you need. And the thing I like about it, like I said, it may not be, I know a lot of people complain about that, but um, I weld, I forged weld just the other day with the sander scarf where you get on the edge here and you curl it and just make a little cup, little C cup thing. And I uh, had no problems. I was practicing a little before I did this video. And I could not hold the two together. Every time I put one on top of the other, the bottom would just spin out and fall to the ground. I did that three times and I just gave up on it. But there's nothing wrong with that scarf. That's just user error. Me, me I had problems. And I'm just practicing that. And this isn't anything major. I'm just trying out different fluxes. So I'll get that to heat. And like I said, one thing I, I like about this is kind of a neat thing is once I get the flux on here, um, once it gets up to welding heat, you watch on in the fire, if you can see it in the fire there, usually I leave my fire open where I can see the weld, uh, the metal getting hot. The flux will actually flow off like a slide. So I get up to heat, I'm gonna flux it a couple times and then I'm gonna try it with the iron mountain. Okay, now this is going to be fluxing with the Iron Mountain. You can see it's a white, this here Iron Mountain is, I think it's mostly, it must be 80-90% and anhydrous borax. So I just want to set that in there. Do my other one. So this is why I don't like squirt bottles, I can just do this over top and anything I miss don't, doesn't go on the floor. And these cans are cheap. You can buy them online. And I like these. They, these I paid a little bit more for. You can buy them for like a couple bucks a can. And this will hold one pound, uh, 16 ounces. So, uh, but this one I like is it threads on, and that's real handy because you don't have to worry about it coming off. So let me get up to welding heat, and then I'll reflux it. And then I'll get up to welding heat again, and then I'll forge it. Be right back. Okay, I'm about there with the. I've already flexed it twice. Put my tongs on this, they're sticking together. One on top of the other. Drop the tongs. Now that welded easier. Now some of this could just be Maybe I got one a little hotter than the other. I don't know. But uh, I just hit that three times. So I'm going to set that off the side. And now I'm going to prepare for forge weld number three. That's why they call it drop tong forge. Set it on there and drop a tong. <laughs> so. Let me bring another one up to heat. I'll scarf it. I won't bore you with doing all that. And then I'm going to flex it twice. And then um, after I flex it twice, we'll do this. This here. Wow. I had to clean that up. Didn't realize that thing must have I've had it screwed tight, but it's hardened up. Maybe a there may be some reason I can't use that. In the world cause that. Yeah. I might just 
make that worthless. But we'll see if I can break it up and we'll use it. <clears throat> okay. I went and checked because there's five ingredients in this and three of those are in these everything else here and didn't harden up like that. And I went and checked the, I still have leftover stuff and uh, it melts good though. I went and checked the leftover packages. Uh, maybe one of them, as soon as they got moisture, hardened up, but all of them are loose. I know I didn't probably seal them up as good as I should have. So, um, I don't know. I mean, I just took a little chisel on my hammer and it broke right back up. So, it's really not that big of a deal. I just feel it works, works well. Or, but if it doesn't work any better than the other ones, just one less thing to have to deal with. So, and I checked my, I have two tins of this because I made a double batch. I'm glad I didn't make all five pounds of it, or eight pounds of it, I mean. But <clears throat> I had two tins. I went and checked it, and it was hardened over, too. I guess the moisture must still get through that the screw lid, which makes sense because it's not airtight. And uh, must have messed it up. So I'm going to double flex it, and then I'll turn it back on. Okay. I flexed it twice. Got about 12 in heat. Okay, I'm gonna try it one more time. Make sure it wasn't me and my problems. Okay. Go for attempt number two. This stuff flows really well, so I, I'm thinking that last time I just didn't have it hot enough. So I'm gonna make sure I got it good and hot this time. If it didn't weld this time, then let's call that one a bust. Yeah, I don't like that stuff. <coughs> it's twice, it didn't work. So, I'm going to put some Iron Mountain or something on here to make sure it will weld. Clean that off. bought all this junk for nothing. <clears throat> I'll put the, uh, I'm thinking a variation of this would work. I'm gonna, I'll put the recipe in there anyway, in the name of it. But uh, I'm thinking, because it's, it's, I think mostly it's just like Iron Mountain. But then they put this other stuff in there. <coughs> uh, they put something like ammonium chloride and this floor span stuff, which is something else. It's got a different name for it. Floor, uh, floor spar or something. <coughs> so, I'm gonna try this other one. Be right back. Okay. I'm gonna attempt to weld this with the 50-50 that would not weld with that other stuff. Hopefully you got it hot enough. It's sticking together in the fire. Yeah, I may have done something wrong with that other stuff. I don't like it. So, I know my 50-50 works. Of course, everybody knows Iron Mountain works. One thing I didn't try was um, just, you know, pure borax, like 20-mule theme. 
and which is pretty much all only it's just you know borax is all it is and this was and hydra's borax mostly that with some boric acid iron oxide which is in all of these but then it added that uh, floor spar stuff and then the ammonium chloride and one of those two or the mixture of them together caused it to get hard and for some reason I couldn't get to weld. So I thought maybe it was just me, but then the other one welded fine. So, and uh, anyway, I'll put a link to it all. Just wanted to show you some different fluxes out there and look at them. And I'm gonna probably play around with some of these other um, formulas. And we'll, uh, we'll see how things work out. But I may take and just use like three parts of this stuff since I still got it. I'm glad I just didn't mix it all up. So if not, I'll just use it and mix up more of my 50-50. I might put 50-50 in, which is, it's boric acid and iron oxide. And I may put, you know, maybe I'll make it thirds or make these two quarter and then put 50% uh, and hydrous borax in there. See what that does. So I play around, but you know you can't go wrong with Iron Mountain. You can't go wrong. I don't think with this 50/50. Um, I've been using a lot. The only thing I had a problem with the welding was uh, I did. Um, I was making four mouse tomahawks and the fold over kind with the high carbon steel in the middle, and <clears throat> um, four of them. Well, three out of the four welded fine. One of them would not weld for nothing. And so I just made a fifth one, it welded fine. I don't know what went wrong with that one, but I did it all with this 50-50. That's all I've ever used for the past three years. But I wanted to try some of these other, and somebody told me to get the Iron Mountain, and I, I thought, well, I'm gonna see what it does. So hope you, you know, subscribe, like my channel, and um, I'll try to get some more stuff out on a regular basis. Um, I do this stuff part-time, so I have to just get time to do it between my full-time job. and. We will uh, probably do some stuff on some torch work and some more welding stuff as well as um, I got a lot more forging to do and I'll video some of those. Try to get it out a little more on a regular basis. But look for the formulas down there and you can click on the links and just you know see what you want. Um, and then uh, uh, and you know, I'll, put, I'll even put the recipe for the one that I couldn't get to work. And maybe you can play around with the recipe yourself sometime. So thanks for watching. And y'all have a blessed day. Bye-bye.